we thank you for inviting us into your homes once more. I am Erwin, and this is New Extremes Wrestling Brawl. Plenty of action on the card tonight, Diana Simmons set to get her hands on the Phantom once more after yet more attacks from the Phantom. Our main event sees Cowboy Roy and a mystery partner take on Mother's Children after everything that took place between Roy and Eli Ward. To kick things off, we have more Summit Tournament action. Team 1 are taking on Team 3. Team 1 won the coin toss just moments before we went live here. Captain Paul Masters has chosen the male sides of the teams. They should be just about ready. I'm going to head down to the ring. scheduled for one fall with a time limit of 15 minutes. Introducing first at a height of 6 foot 1, weighing in at 250 pounds, hailing from Asgard, representing the Kingdom, he is part of Team 1, he is the New Extremes Wrestling United Kingdom Champion, Adam Irvin. Still can't get over and hailing from Asgard, the man is from Chelsea to my knowledge. Adam Irvin, four years in NEW, a 52.17% win ratio, former injection champion of 112 days, current United Kingdom champion of 84 days. Rico Carver calling him out after their last match. It's a possibility they might clash in the summit. Tonight, Paul Masters, Cowboy Ryan, Adam Irvin for Team One is a very interesting combination Paul Masters has gone for. I know in past years, at the Summit Tournament, he's missed out on getting Roy on his team and has been upset about that. Not that they're friends or anything, but I, th I think he just recognises the height of Roy in this company. The men's world champion. And speaking of, get Roy in action twice here tonight as a result of the summer tournament. champion of 130 days, current and four time NEW men's world champion of 389 days. Again, arguably the most recent threat to that belt has become Eli Ward. However, all has not been fair in achieving that. Sneak attacks, lights out, post-match attacks. Roy has faced them. Surprisingly hasn't come out here to say anything about it just yet. I think he might let that main event here tonight do the speaking. We're all still wondering. Again, the committee said, no, we don't. We don't want to know who Casey Judge has chosen for this. We're quite happy with the match stipulation, a mystery partner for Roy. 
I said personally, I want to be just as surprised as this audience here tonight when we find out who that is. Casey Judge deems were even the odds, and Roy was quite happy to take on Mother's Children. Two against one. Whoa, whoa. A second. Where do you think you're going, Chris? I'm Paul Masters' manager. I'm going to give him the entrance he deserves. No, Chris. Only members of the Summit teams are allowed out there during Summit matches. What? This Chris, is outrageous. You're not going out there. I'm his manager. You're I'm not going out to the Olympics. Well. Casey Judge pulling his weight as commissioner already, folks. I think we made a good decision of the committee. Shut up, Ronnie. I found a microphone back here. Yeah, you can tame me, but you can't silence Chris Jones. Yeah. Now, at a perfect height of six foot one, weighing in at peak 15 pounds, from the wonderful Houston, Texas, that even after being hit by tornadoes looks far better than here in Birmingham. He is captain, the numero uno, the head hunter of Team One, the one, the only, the master class wrestler, all masters. Again, this alliance of Chris Jones and Paul Masters. Casey Judge putting his foot down, not letting Chris Jones out here. Masters four years in NEW with 57.89% win ratio, former NEW men's junior champion of 252 days, former United Kingdom champion of 189 days, and the team captain for team one. Again, won the coin toss here. Perhaps wanting to uh, stay competition ready, Paul Masters. Perhaps wanting to prove himself and his team, whatever the reason. He faces two members of a trio. You've got to wonder if that's going to work in their favour already, familiar with teaming up with one another. Rage also six years pro, current NEW men's tag team champion of 21 days. And Haku Ross found himself selected as another captain in Summit, so cannot team with his teammates here, Ray Sullivan, the team captain for Team 3. Recently approached by Rick Weaver to uh, work together for Magnum Opus, who are fractured, split in two at the moment. EOD haven't seemed to reach a decision, there's a bit of a split of opinion in the group. I'm just hoping this uh, summit tournament doesn't emphasise that if the two teams should come head to head. Sullivan chose was a member of Magnum Opus. Ray Sullivan wants to work with these guys, which you know, 
got a question. Econ just just appeared there. They have an equal opportunity destroyers after all. Aku Ross saying that perhaps they should become more selective. apart during this match. 15 minutes on the clock and here we go. Oh. Ray Sullivan standing up strong as the UK champion. Oh. Hard, hard shots to the head of Adam Irvin. And a bit of gut shot. And Sullivan up on the ropes. I'm just trying to Pull that shoulder out of socket, utilising the rope there for a few seconds. Send into the corner. Oh, and a chop. Oh, just whiplashed him out of the corner. Mervyn, think momentarily thinking about a tag, went for a pin instead. Oh, got a two. I think he realised Ray Sullivan was rocked by that one. Then banged his head quite hard on the impact on the mat. Oh. Covering though. Sullivan gets Anna Mervyn in the corner. Oh, hard shot to the leg. Boot to the gut by Irvin. Oh, fanned a chop and got a DDT instead. Oh. Hard chop to the throat there I think. Tag made by Irvin. Oh. Roy's in, but Sullivan managed a shoulder block. Roy avoids the leg drop. Oh, shoulder badge of his own. A oh, leg drop of his own. Oh, big knee. Turning Sullivan inside out. Oh, strong leg from Sullivan though, pushes free. Oh, that kick to the side of Roy. Oh, throws him into his own corner, gets a tag to Dallas. Biggest man in this match, just ran through Roy, that was stepping over him. Just pushing Roy away. to the face. The most drunk like legs of Dallas Rage. That's Roy in that team corner. Tag made to Ray Sullivan. No entry for Brown so far. Oh, double gut buster. Roy 
trouble here. Oh, reverses the whip. Dug down. Tilt a whirl. What's he got? Oh, tilt a whirl. Power slam. Oh. Right. Oh, great strength to drop it. Rage onto the apron. Sullivan going after Team One. Oh, got a big boot as he turned around. Oh, big suplex. Just driving an arm into the mat. Just thinking about a tag there. Changed his mind. Sullivan sent into the corner. Now a tag made to Paul Masters. You hear the crowd change of opinion as Paul Masters get it, gets in there. And the crowd somewhat cheering Paul Masters, even portions of them still until his alliance with Chris Jones. That has just changed everything in these fans' eyes. I don't blame them. Almost got a three there on Ray Sullivan again. That's two near falls for Ray. Rolls to the outside. Oh. Masters went after Dallas Rage. Got a clocked. Oh. Managed to get Bruce Brown off the apron though. Oh, now going back after Rage. Some hard, hard shots. Now going out there. Not sure how wise that was. Big backdrop by Ray Sullivan. Oh, Bruce Brown getting involved. Accidentally clocked from Sullivan there though. Oh, Sullivan recovered. Drilling Masters into that barricade. Oh, big leg drop. Driving Masters heads into those wafer thin mats. Count of seven here. Ray Sullivan gets back in the ring. Count of eight, Masters does off. Adam Irvin. The forearm to Sullivan who'd gone after the, the other members of the team. Oh! Masters with a tag. Adam Irvin now in. Oh, stomped to the arm of Ray Sullivan. Oh, went for a knee, misses. Oh, Sullivan went for a high kick and missed. That's a roundhouse off. Big explorer there. Possibly a teardrop, nearly got a three on Sullivan again. Sullivan's resilience. Oh. Big slam. Almost a spine buster one handed there by Adam Irvin. Oh, Cowboy Roy with a big DDT. But as he's getting hyped up by the crowd, Dallas Rage has made the tag. Oh. Big DDT. Roy to the outside. Sullivan. Oh. Dallas, excuse me, went up top for a second there. Changed his mind, going after Adam Irvin. Oh, oh. Roy though, back in with perfect timing, big DDT. That power and rage though, just able to push. Cowboy Roy away. Oh. Rage driving Cowboy Roy's head into the mat there. Oh, arm wrench. Roy still fighting back. Trying to get Rage into his team's corner. Oh. Dallas Rage breaks free. Oh. Pump handle face buster. Oh. Oh boy, Roy caught him with a chalk slam there, I think. Poised and ready in the corner, spare! Oh! 
I think Ray Sullivan just made the save there. Dallas Ridge may have just got his shoulder up somehow off. Perhaps all that extra weight protect protecting him from that spear somewhat. He's still got to be aching. Oh. Hard forearm by Roy. Oh, Dallas Ridge had him scooped. Oh, reversal into another DDT. Dallas Ridge, yet again, drilled up to his head. Tag made to Adam Irvin. Oh, STF. Oh, and a shot by Ridge. Oh, headbutt. Shot to the arm. No. Hard shoulder block. Oh, and a high knee there. DDT. By Adam Irving. Oh. Close line to the outside. Went after Ray Sullivan got hit. And again, I think I failed to mention actually, Team 3. Of course, have already had one match. They're female members of the team. So if it reaches a draw or they lose here tonight, that's their team already eliminated from the Summit Tournament. Oh! Oh! With only five minutes to go, anything could still happen here. But it is not looking good for Team 3 right now. Tag made to Paul Masters. Sullivan got the boot hard, close line. Oh. Hard shot to the side of the temple there. Oh. Tag made to Adam Irvin. And Paul Masters using him like a javelin. Looking for the pin, Dallas Ridge in to break it up. Sullivan getting back to his feet. Oh, missed with that roundhouse kick again. Oh, reversal. Oh, a shoulder patch to the outside. Down goes Adam Irvin. Sullivan taking on Paul Master. Sullivan taking on Cowboy Roy. Irvin back in the ring got caught. Oh, Drilled into that turnbuckle. Oh, some hard shoulder barges. Oh, schoolboy. Power bomb. Desperation tag there. Oh, Bruce Brown in. And Mervyn. Sorry, coming. Oh, rolling death on his driver. A lot of the blood on Adam Irvin's face. Can't buy that turnbuckle. Courtesy of Ray Sullivan. Hopefully it's not that orbital we uh, broke not too long ago. Oh. Oh. Oh, kick out by Adam Irvin, perhaps a crucial one, this late in the game. Oh, Adam Irvin just launched himself like a cannonball at Dallas Ridge. Sullivan breaking that up before it could even be a pin. 
impact there to Paul Masters. Oh, got swatted away by Dallas Rage. Oh, big belly to belly. Oh, big STF. That's TO, excuse me. That's twice I called it that. Easily mixed. Oh, sunset flip by Paul Masters. Can't quite get Dallas Rage over. Just fed the full force of Dallas Rage on top of him. Still coming back with some shots. Tag mid. Cowboy Roy in. Tag mid. Ray Sullivan in. Sullivan sidesteps. Oh, there's a roundhouse he'd been looking for. Oh, some heavy, heavy elbows. Submission locked in. Adam Irvin. Came in. Sullivan released before Irvin could get there. Going back to Cowboy Roy. Oh, back rake. Oh, look at the strength. Oh. Sullivan going up top. Big elbow drop. The fatigue is well and truly kicked in here. Cowboy Roy freeing himself off the ropes. Big hip toss. Tag made to Paul Masters. Oh, big clothesline to Ray Sullivan. Masters poised and ready. He's running out of time. Oh, twisting cutter. Oh, Bruce Brown breaks this one up, but that means it is a draw. And he's team three are out of the summit tournament. There's some brackets up before uh, next week's match illustrate that but it just shows how this new new system can work well we'll take a short advert break here we will be back with the phantom taking on diana simmons oh hang on a second Irvin has something to say rico carver that match was a fluke the committee sprung an opponent on me I could beat you seven times in a row. Well, how about that? Gotta wonder how Rico Cab is gonna respond. Let's say we will be back after a short advert break. Don't go anywhere.
Hey fans, want to dress in style? Triple Threat Promotions have their own shop with designs from your favorite promotions and wrestlers and more coming out all the time. It really is the place to go if you're after some Triple Threat Promotions merchandise. Go to 3tp.page and follow the shop link. Coming at the end of August for the first time ever, 3TP are hosting a cross promotional women's only card boutique ball. There we will crown the first ever 3TP women's world champion. We'll be uh, revealing more of the card in the weeks to come. That main event is certainly going to be an interesting one. Queen of the Hill match. Current entries, as i seeing on your screen here, Brittany Beth won the uh, Invitational Cup, making her entrance Kagomi Katsura from Frontline and Fox from UX Extreme Wrestling. Also, Psycho Sonia has put out a challenge to defend her New Extreme Wrestling Women's World Championship. Still yet, any, yet to hear if someone answers a call for that one. Again, we will keep breaking this to you in the weeks to come here. We do have plenty more matches planned. We will announce. What a night that should be. That happening at the end of August. 29th indeed. Now back to the action here in the bunker. We have the Phantom set to take on Diana Simmons. The thorny vines of the Savage Garden continue to reach outward as it grows. And oh, how I truly can't wait for them to wrap around the throat of New Extremes Wrestling. But that will come in due time. What happens now is a brave Amazonian warrior visits the Savage Garden once more. What she doesn't realize is it has adapted since their last encounter. No more shall she cut its vines. Diana Simmons, the Savage Garden will erase you. Focused on Diana Simmons for whatever reason, perhaps for ruining her return. Following contest is scheduled for one full with a time limit of 15 minutes. Introducing first at 158, weighing in at 148 pounds from Prime. Five years pro, former NEW Women's Junior Champion of only nine days, was not interested in that belt when she had it, believe me. Former two-time NEW Women's World Champion of 474 pounds. Being a dominant champion each time, she has held that belt. But Diana Simmons knocked her from that path. Very recently. The way the violence is golden. I think she's taken that personally here. Here comes 
her opponent. Her opponent, at a height of six foot one, weighing at 181 pounds, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, representing the Red Dragons, Diana Simmons. Eight years pro, former EFW women's champion of 107 days and hold on a second. Who the hell is that? Diana Simmons being attacked from behind. Is that, is that Whitney Palmer? Oh, we saw the Phantom trying to have a conversation and you heard Diana Simmons there telling the ref to ring the bell. Oof. Oh, Phantom with a, another attempt at a sneak attack here. I think that was Whitney Palmer. Not a hundred percent sure. And if that is true, then one of our new juniors has joined this savage garden of phantoms. Oh, oh, that claws I'm there by the phantom. Oh, and it's broken out again backstage. Cynthia Violet. Tag team partner to Diana Simmons. Oh, drilled into the concrete. Diana Simmons, though, long darting. Oh, a phantom followed up by a big boot. Security backstage breaking that fight up once more. Oh, and me to the phantom. Simmons knows what's occurred backstage. Oh. Oh. Three hard close lines. Oh, and a big elbow drop from Diana Simmons. Oh, Phantom. Oh. May have got a sneak attack on Simmons, but I think it's only made her angrier. Count of five here. Simmons sending the Phantom back in the ring. After a brutal onslaught on the outside. And that's it. Oops, some issues with our camera there for a second. Oh. So cut back to the replay. Jeez, hard, hard close lines. On those wafers in that. Big elbow drop. I'm very dangerously close to that concrete on the uh, entrance where there. There's Whitney Palmer again, that is most definitely Whitney Palmer. And it seems she's joined the dark side. I think we're going to need that security back out here. Simmons making her way toward Whitney Palmer. They said to Mount X Ward. Tearing off for one another. Security trying to split this up again. Oh, the Palmer Bray. This is my show, Ace in the Hole. Today's guest made her debut recently, and I have some things I want to ask, so please welcome to the show, Diamond Doll. Thanks, Alice. First things first, your debut against Piper Hacksaw. Those who have come from the Diamond Gym aren't so successful of late, are they? Oh, you bring such a downer on things, Alice. But it's true. Sonya Jackson may have been a three-time women's world champion here in New Extremes Wrestling, but she sure can't train champions. Just watch this space kitten, because the training is sound, the movement is groovy, and gold will come our way. Well, you are new. It's only right you have some hope before reality sets in. So what's with the get-up? You think you're some hippie from the 70s or something? The summer of love, baby. 
I grew up watching my granddad's tapes from the 70s and I fell in love with the aesthetic kitten. Sure, things weren't perfect, but there was something in the air, a movement I wish I was part of. So that's why you dress up like someone's vomited a rainbow all over you? You mean my threads? Right again, kitten. Don't call me that. No sweat, babe. You got any more groovy questions for me? Just one more. Doll. Do you really think that looking like that, with all the competition in New Extremes Wrestling, you're going to gain a following? Anything can happen, baby. I'm just here to bring a world of color into a dark place. Vile. Well, we'll see just how far you get with that. Your way to chirpy to last around here. That spirit will be beaten out of you in no time, and I, for one, can't wait to see it. Well, that's all the time we've got today. Until next time, you better believe there's no one quite like me. The Ace, Alice Young. Hey, Ray, buddy. Have the EOD made a decision on helping out Magnum Opus? Haku's still not on the same page, but don't worry. He'll come around. Are you sure? Don't worry, Rick. I'll make him see the benefits of this collaboration. If he doesn't see the money opportunity, I'll get it through to him some other way. Well, there you go, Ray Sullivan. Still quite keen to work with Rick Weaver. Oh, wow. We are in our main event, and this is our mystery partner for Cowboy Roy. The following contest is the main event of the evening, and is a tag team match scheduled for one fall with a time limit of 30 minutes. Introducing first at a height of 5 foot 11, weighing in at 261 pounds from Berlin, Germany, he is the reigning defending New Extremes Wrestling European Champion, Alex Kroll. Wow. Oh, Casey Judge has made a hell of a pick here. The New Extremes Wrestling European Champion, former Injection Champion. I believe with the longest single and overall run there. Again, I don't have any notes because I didn't know who it was. But quite the athlete here in NEW. Nothing has ever teamed with Roy before. What a response from this crowd. What a team this should be. And for the second time tonight, here comes the NEW Men's World Champion. The fans just as electric this time round. Former two time Intercontinental Champion of 130 days, four time and current NEW Men's World Champion of 389 days. And again, this all started when Eli Ward took out Joe Freeman in a hideous attack. Cowboy Roy wanted to teach Eli Ward a lesson, being the law around here. Eli Ward used every trick under the book. In the book. Getting the lights out. 
post match attack. He got a victory on Roy. Hideous downward spiral on the outside of the ring. Well, the next week Roy came out here and said he wanted to face those two that attacked him after the match in a handicap match. Now a new commissioner instead making it a tag team match and I think he made a wise choice there. Including Alex Crom in this one. Titles here in an EW. Always ferocious in that ring. Eli Ward, seven years pro, former two time Intercontinental Champion of 69 days, former United Kingdom Champion with the longest single and overall run of 546 days. And you can hear this crowd. Thing that this team has put out. All the hatred they have put out here in NEW. Uncalled for attacks. All in the name of Mother. working away into every promotion that they can. Well, two men still willing to stop it happening to any W here. 30 minutes on the clock. Oh, Alan Cobb Crom going straight to work on Carl Abbott. Hefty chops and a big power slam. Oh, I've got shots from Abbott though. Oh, turn up on the top row. Oh, good shot to the face. Oh, shot to the gut. Oh, hefty, hefty shot from Carl Abbott though. And a tag made to Eli Ward, and a tag made to Cowboy Roy. Oh, Eli Ward with a high knee. Gets the first shot in. Oh, that big power bomb. Pipe Max are thinking about something there. Eli Ward looking for another power bomb. Tag made to Cal Abbott. Cowboy right back to his feet. Oh. Just got flattened again by Carl Abbott. Again, Roy's already wrestled in Summit Tournament competition here tonight. Oh. We talk about those new extremes people will go to to make a name for themselves here. Even those who have already made a name for themselves will put themselves through it. How wise that was for Cowboy Roy, I'm not so sure. Huge power slam there. Oh, kick out by Roy, tag made to Eli Ward, Roy trying to make his way over and does to Alex Crom. Crom sent into the corner, oh, high back 
elbow by Crumb. Off. Almost a sling blade there. Takes down Eli Ward. Oh, locking those hands. Off. That far to the back of the head. Oh, looking for it again. Oh, Eli Ward. So coming this time. Looking for a suplex. Alex Crom wheel his way out. Use that. Oh, hang on. Oh, big crossbody there by Eli Ward. Oh. Oh. That close line. Eli Ward. Oh. He's standing to remind everyone how he was so dominant. As UK champion, people often forget that reign of terror that he did have. Oh, big spine buster from Alex Crom! Has life in the wolf yet? Incredible strength, oh, sweep of the leg though. Eli Ward trying to keep up some pressure. Boots to the face from Eli Ward. Shots to the gut by Alex Crom. Oh! Cowboy Roy. Lord still the legal man for mother's children. And sent off the ropes. Oh, big boot by Cowboy Roy. Oh, I think he's busty like one open. Only a one. Yeah, what checking his face there. I think that is a cut. And Cowboy Roy, oh, it is indeed. Drilling Ward into that turnbuckle pad. Oh. Whiplash out of the corner. Oh, went for that knee. Ward managed to move. Oh, big release suplex there. By Ward, I'll boot to the gut by Roy. Oh, beautiful arm wrench and a leg drop onto it. Oh, arm wrench by Eli Ward. Cowboy Roy dazed, sent off the ropes, duck down, leapfrog. We're looking for a belly to belly, oh my word. Huge overhead there, and a double axe handle to the back by Eli Ward. Roy still back to his feet though. That wrist lock off. Just reminding Ward who the world champion is. Big suplex. Oh, went for an elbow drop. Ward out of the way. He's right up on his shoulders. Oh. Right rolling to the outside. Eli Ward demanding he get back in the ring. Roy obliges, but is caught by Ward. Oh, scoop slam. Oh, sweep the legs by Roy. Tag made on both sides. It's back to Abbott. Oh, for Alex Crom. Abbott coming in like a freight train and just flattening Crom there. Sends him off the ropes. Oh, look at that. Coming up. Stopping block. Oh, tilt a well face buster. Looking for that pin. Cowboy Roy making a stop to that. Oh, can't 
Abbott with some gut shots to Alex Prob who caught the leg. Trying to lift. Was he trying to bear hook? Oh, either way, Carl Abbott freed himself. Oh. And STO. And a tag made. Eli Ward now in. Sends Alex Crom off. Oh, what a kick. Oh. Boot to the gut. Crom still fighting back. Frees himself. But he's in a dangerous corner here. Oh. Just bounds into Eli Ward, knocking him up against the rope. So hard chop. Trying to wear out that leg. Oh, shoulder badge. Oh, that boot. Alex Crom, though, distracted by Piper Hacksaw. Oh, double axe handle right to the back of the head. Oh. Crom nearly getting caught out. Oh, boot by Eli Ward. Pipe Hacks are demanding something from Ward. Oh, release suplex again. Gets a round of applause from her. Moonsault from Eli Ward. That lion salt. Oh, and it got him the win. I can only think what this is going to mean. Cowboy Roy wasn't the one pinned, but this was essentially to put mother's children to, uh, to put them in their place. For lack of a better term, look at this lion salt here. That has not happened here tonight. And you can only imagine what this group are going to have to say next week. Well, the week after, excuse me, because we have got an episode of Flashback next week. So we'll see you in two weeks time, but enjoy the episode of Flashback. Thank you and good night. If you like the show, please consider giving us a like, comment, and subscribe for more content from us.